Hello, how's everybody? How's every little thing? <laughs> so I'm going to do something a little different today, I think. Um, I did a live feed a few days ago. A few of you may have seen it, and I didn't keep it up because um, the quality just wasn't good. It was I did it on, um, on my iPhone. And uh, when I do like a live feed on my iPhone, I don't know. It just like it's jumpy and it, the quality of it is not good. And I thought I was going to leave it up and I didn't um, because it just, I didn't like it the way it looked. Um, and I, this is my iPad. This is an old iPad um, that I got as a gift. Uh, well, gift, I guess, when my uncle passed away. <laughs> um and it's old. I don't know how old, but like it can't be updated. Like it just is what it, the iOS that it's on is what it is, and that's it. So I can't do live feeds from here. It like just cuts off. It won't do it. Um, but what I'm going to explain here is that um, something that I've been enjoying uh, the past year or so are there's a few people I follow um, that just do like this vlogs. Like, they just talk about um, their life. I mean, one in particular I really have enjoyed is this 19-year-old girl in Canada who, like, started college and dropped out. and um, She's just an interesting kind of soul, but uh, it's they're just like... She just sits and talks in bed. I'm sitting on my bed right now. She just sits and talks about things in her life and what she thinks about them. And it's, I don't know, something kind of interesting about it. And there are a few people that I, I watch that basically do, they do other things as well, but sometimes I don't watch their other things. Sometimes all I'm interested in is I like their, their vlog, where they're just talking about stuff. Mm. And I thought, you know, I might like to do that, because it's kind of therapeutic watching theirs, and it might be therapeutic doing them. Um... Contrary to popular belief, I think, <laughs> you know, my day-to-day -day life is actually quite boring, and um, that's cool. Like, I like it that way. That's totally fine. Um, but I thought, yeah, it might be kind of nice to just talk about stuff, things you buy, and th little things going on in your life, or observations about something, and just kind of talking, you know? Um... Yeah, and so I thought I might try doing that. I just don't know how frank to be. Sometimes some of these people are super frank, um, like really, really for real frank, and then uh, some people are more, like I've always been more of a professional social media person in the sense of like how I present myself or what I may or may not talk about or whatever. But I'm thinking, you know, I'll probably do that to some degree here, but maybe be a little more freer. Because, I mean, the truth of the matter is, honestly, um, I don't think any of my actual friends that I know in real life here uh, watch any of my videos at all. And I think any, maybe one or two, and they would be cool with me saying anything, but uh, that maybe only one or two people, uh, you know, that I actually know are subscribed and watch the videos. They don't care about Hawaiian records, they don't care about candles, they don't care about anything I'm doing, so they don't watch anything. And as far as I guess watching them, them watching a video of me sitting around talking, well, I mean, we can do that in real life, so why would they care? And then the rest of you would be like, why do you care? Well, you probably don't, because very few people watch my videos anyway, which is okay. Unless it was an Ancestry DNA video, which has like 25,000 views or something crazy I did. Like, that one is insane. Otherwise, you know, who gives a, nobody's watching that much, which is fine. That's okay. Uh, so anyway, I think I'm just going to try doing it. I'm not sure what to call it. Something about flaneur. I've always loved that word and identified with that word, which is uh, like a French word for sort of an overeducated person who lives in an urban area who is often seen just frequenting cafes and wandering around reading and, you know, being part of, sort of part of the social activity, but not really completely joining I identify with that word, flaneur. Uh, anyway, I'll come up with a title for this series of, of vlogs and 
so you'll know if they interest you to watch them and if they don't interest you when you see that name skip it like I do with some other people's videos that do things I'm not interested in and some of what they do I am interested in anyway uh, also know that uh, for whatever reason on uh, like on my iPhone or on my my YouTube channel itself like I can upload I don't know, is it 30 minutes or an hour? I can upload videos up to an hour or something. I don't know. It's quite a long time. But anyway, on this iPad, for whatever reason that I don't know, um, the cutoff time is 15 minutes for me to upload something onto YouTube from here. So none of these vlogs will be longer than 15 minutes. So it will just be 15 minutes of me rambling about whatever. Anyway, so let's ramble a little bit. Like, what have I done? Um, part of what I did in that, that live feed that I didn't keep up was I had gone to Savers Thrift Store. I love thrift store shopping. I mean, I am a thrift store whore. Can I swear on here? I don't know. I never swear on my other channel, but I do swear a lot. So I think maybe I'll swear on my vlogs because we're keeping it a little more real. Anyway, uh, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> that's just, that's it. Um, yeah, I went to the thrift store Savers and, uh, something... Oh, and another thrift store. Oh, Salvation Army, because they both have senior discount days, and I'm a senior, believe it or not, 56. I think I'm 56 or 57. Anyway, I qualify for the discount, and Savers is 30%, which is really a good discount, and I think Salvation Army is 10%. Anyway, at Savers, I did get other things, but what I'll show you is this shirt, because, you know, I have a lot of Hawaiian shirts, and I know some of you are interested in those. And I will do videos on Hawaiian shirts at some point. I'm just not sure how. Like, to say my top ten is kind of crazy because they're stored. I have to show you how they're stored in my closet. It's hard to, like, get them out individually. And they're on these things of, like, uh, you know, like six shirts on a thing. And they're stuffed in there. So I just kind of go through them gradually. Maybe I'll do videos, start doing videos at some point of just showing them as I'm going through them. You know, one, six five or six at a time. Anyway, I don't know. At some point, there'll be something. Um, I got this one. I'm not a professional sports person. I don't follow professional sports even remotely at all. I don't care about it. Don't talk about it because I just don't care. But uh, I got this shirt because it's so cute. It's Miami Dolphins shirt, but it's by um, Rain Spooner, which is a Hawaiian brand. So it is made here. <laughs> but it's so cute. It has flamingos and like the skyscape and a pendant. And there's a football player somewhere on here. Anyway, I thought it was like super cute. Like I have to have it. Love it. And then uh, at Salvation Army, I got this one. I call it Harajuku. It's not really, but whatever. It's just, I've never seen one like it. It's like different patterns put together into one shirt, but like sectionally. It's very strange. So, this obviously was what drew my attention, the tiki one. And this is on the other side. And the collar is something different. And the sleeves are something different. And then the back is also something different. Right? So that's kind of an interesting shirt, I must say. I like it. Uh, I also got a book there. I love books, you know. I know I talk about records on my channel, and that's my main thing. But, um, you know, I love books, too, and I have too many. I have to show you. My New Year's resolution last year was not to buy any more books because I just needed to read the ones that I had. Uh, and I miserably failed to that. I did buy quite a few books last year. It's just so hard for me when I go to book sales, which we have here, like Friends of the Library book sales, huge sale. Um, and thrift stores. When I just see books that I want, it's so hard for me not to buy them because, I mean, they're books, you know? 
Um, anyway, this year I made the same resolution not to buy any more uh, and to concentrate on reading the ones I have. So I've been trying to do that. And I have bought a few books this year. You know, I won't lie, I have bought a few. Not too many. I've been kind of good, but I have bought a few. Uh, I did get this one on Gauguin. I have several books by Paul about Paul Gauguin, who I really love. And I know he's kind of a scoundrel, you know. I understand that he basically, you know, left his wife and kids and family in, in uh, Denmark or France. I think they lived in Denmark. She's from Denmark. Anyway, I don't know. He left his family in Europe. Um, he was French. And eventually ended up in Tahiti and the Marquesas Islands for years and years and years, painting and whining and complaining and having a series of, you know, whatever, 14-year-old Tahitian wives and Balinese wives and whatever. But, um, I don't know, he's kind of an idol, a hero to me, in a way. Like, I just identify with um, this. He is somebody who really heard the call of the South Seas, you know, like he really... He had that desire to go there and to sort of leave everything behind and live this different kind of life. And he did that. And what I also really uh, admire about him uh, in his artwork is when he finally got to Papaede and got to Tahiti and it wasn't what he was expecting it to be, he created the image of what he expected it to be in his mind and in his paintings. A lot of people don't seem to really know this, but when he got to Papaiti, I've read a lot of books, letters that he wrote, diaries and things. Um, it was already very much a French colonial city, and he was not happy with it. Not happy with it. Um, and he went out and started painting things and painting idols and stone idols that weren't even there. Okay, they'd already been destroyed. He put them in his paintings, and they were not there. Anyway, so, and he eventually went out to the Marquesas and further out, but I just, I love his artwork, and I love his imagery, and I love that he created something that's sort of everlasting, and it's the siren call of, of Polynesia, that's him there, and, uh, you know, what he didn't see, if he didn't like what he saw, he just, like, created it, he made it. Like these idols and things don't even didn't even exist in Tahiti, uh, and he borrowed uh, poses and uh, situ ways that bodies and and uh, the women are are situated that were from like um, Indian Asian Indian frescoes and religious paintings. So he it was all very iconic. I really like him. I like his, his work. And for me, if I were at a beauty pageant and they asked who would you most like to meet, what historical figure you would most like to meet, I would definitely say Paul Gauguin. And people may not like it, but that's the truth. The truth. I got this in the mail today, too. I ordered this, Morbid Curiosities. Have you seen this? This is kind of a newer book, but collections of the uncommon and the bizarre. I love this book. It's just people that collect strange, disturbing, morbid things. And it's kind of beautiful. I mean, I think it's a beautiful presentation, this book. The collectors, they interview the collectors and show their, like, somebody has Ouija boards and, um, you know, seance sort of stuff. And I don't know. I like this book a lot. And then I went to a Barnes & Nobles today, got a couple things, a book on typewriters, like I don't need this, but it was the discount section, $7. I'd seen it when it was full priced. It's just beautiful. It's not necessarily, I mean, there's information to read, but it's also one of those books that just has a lot of really cool old photographs and old uh, <coughs> advertisements. I'm burning incense. It's making me cough. to keep insects away, and we can talk about that another time. I don't have no idea how often I'll do these vlogs, but they may be therapeutic, but I don't want to take away from my records. Anyway, that's that. And I bought this one, Dust and Grooves. I couldn't believe it was on sale for $12. I've been waiting forever for this book. It's like on uh, record collectors. It's huge, and I don't have time to show you the whole thing because we're running up on 15 minutes, so yeah. More on that later, maybe. Have a good day.